Here we are guys at day five. Check it out. Oh uh, yeah. Got some serious bean action. This corn is going crazy. Check out the basil. Yeah, it's looking really good, really healthy. I'll uh, let those grow and then I'll pluck out the weakest ones and we'll go ahead and plant them. Um, we got some serious cucumber going on right there. Um, we also have the lettuce coming in, even better. And then I took, since I started growing this in the hydroton as an experiment, that actually did pretty well. I just went ahead and uh, I took some of the cucumbers that were growing in the back right there, and I just actually just took one and I put them right here. So I think that uh, it's super beneficial to start seeds in hydroton. I didn't think it would work, but I'm really stoked on it because check it out. You can just do this. Oh, you need your seedling? No freaking problem. Look at that. Let me see if I can get this thing to view to focus on here. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, you can't see it. It's starting to get mycorrhizal. Um, the mycorrhizal inoculation has taken place. And uh, I'll go ahead and plant that back in in a second. I'll just put it in here for the time being so it stays moist. Okay, so let me see if I can get uh, some, show you guys what mycorrhizal inoculation looks like. This one has some serious action going on. All right. Come on, focus. Can you see the hair growing on that tap root right there? That is mycorrhizal inoculation. So what happens is, is once this thing, mycorrhizae attaches itself to, a, to the root, it'll start growing and uh, it'll start pulling in additional nutrients. It actually increases the surface area, they say by 100 to 1,000 times, just because you're, you're basically growing roots on your roots. This fungus is not to be messed with, so I uh, no doubt in my mind that the uh, the growth that's coming out of here is just substantial, and, and it does mycorrhizae definitely plays a part in that um, in that cycle of life. If you saw my other video, um, uh, you'll you'll notice that I pulled two of those seedlings out of there and I planted them right into my seed starting system. We're going to see how these go, uh, how fast these grow versus the ones that are outside in my wrap system, um, which are actually two weeks older than these. So I, I have a feeling that starting the seeds in this system versus them being outside in the raft, I think they're going to grow faster. So we'll see what happens. It's just another experiment that I'm conducting here over at aquaponics and stuff. And uh, I hope you have a, a great dang day. Bye.